Yo, what's up, you guys? <coughs> it's your awesome dude 900 here. Now, yes, I am getting a little bit of a cold, but I just wanted to make a short little middle of the week video for you guys about Mary Poppins Returns. Now, I went to go see this movie last Saturday? Last Saturday? Yep. And this Saturday coming up, I'm going to go see Glass. Which is going to be really fun. I'm going to get a review out for that for you guys. So. <clears throat> um, I actually go to see a lot of movies. If you guys don't know. Um, I actually went to go see Escape Room at the beginning of the year. And I feel that that was, you know, a decent movie. The ending was kind of weird. But I feel that the... Best part of the movie was in the actual escape room. When they escaped the escape room, the escape room, that's when it gets a little bit weird. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Mary Poppins Returns. Now, you guys may expect me to be like, oh, Mary Poppins Returns, you know, it's just a kid's movie. Throw it in the garbage, go see another movie, go see, like, Glass or Into the Spider-Verse or something like that. Which I did love, Into the Spider-Verse, by the way. If you can't see, I'm wearing a Spider-Man shirt right now. I went to go see that movie twice. That movie was awesome. This, Mary Poppins, is not a movie I would go see twice. But it is definitely a good watch for one-time viewings if you guys want to go see it. I would definitely highly suggest you guys go see this movie because you guys know me. I love movies, but in this age, everything's so complicated, you know? To go see Infinity War, you've had, you would have had to see Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, you know what I mean? I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, Thor 2... Thor Ragnarok to understand what was going on in the ship in the beginning. You know what I mean, guys? I mean, you just have to watch. It's a thing where you have to go and watch all these other movies before you go see that one movie. That's kind of the problem I'm having with Glass right now. I saw Unbreakable. I'm looking for Split. Can't find it anywhere. Um, The only way I can get it is to buy it. And I only want to watch it once, so I'm not going to buy it. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I might end up going to go see Split without seeing... I mean, <laughs> going to go see Glass without seeing Split. Um, so that might be a problem for me. Um, anyway, um, that's not the pro a problem with this movie. This movie is very simple, one note, but... That's a great, that's a great thing, you know. Nowadays, in this age of cinema, as I said before, all these cinematic universes, you just need a movie where you can just kick back and relax, you know. And these characters are good enough, in the drama in the movie is good enough to keep you invested. Well, there's one drama plot that I don't really like. That's the plot where they're losing the house and they have to get the money for the house. And it's just like, God, we've seen this plot before, just move on with it, you know what I mean? But, and yes, there is a MacGuffin at the end when um, the evil banker is kicked out and the nice banker comes in and just gives him the money and gives him the house back. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but all the stuff in the middle is just so awesome, um, first off, let's start with these characters, every single one of them is just so optimistic and fun, and all the songs in this movie are optimistic and fun, either optimistic and fun, or just really nice little melodies that you can listen to, if you if you're wanting to feel like happy and optimistic on a day, this is the perfect album to listen to. Um, and I would highly suggest just going to go see this movie because 
everything about it is simple and easy. Um, and yes, that can be a problem at some times. Um, like the plot where, like the house plot and all the characters are, are very optimistic, but they don't have traits beyond that other than the father who lost his wife and the kids that lost their mother and the sister, the aunt, doesn't really seem that affected by it. The um, lamplighter doesn't seem very affected by it, you know what I mean? I mean, everyone's happy and everything, and everyone's optimistic, and that's great and all, but you kind of need a little bit more drama with the other characters to keep me a little bit more invested, but it's an enjoyable watch. If you got, I would say it's about a 5 out of 10. This is a good movie. If you guys want to go see it, then go out and see it. It's it's good enough that you should go out and see it. But it's not quite up to par with some of the other movies nowadays because of with the complexity <coughs> of the characters, but Yeah, highly suggest this movie. You guys should go out and see it.